Good morning, it's Tuesday, November 10th, and this is your HuffPost Morning News Brief. Was drowsy driving to blame when a New York taxi struck and killed an 88-year-old woman? The driver told police he had started his shift nearly 16 hours before the crash. We have an aggressive approach to the Taxi and Limousine Commission to inhibit anyone from working more hours than they should. Uh, it's important that we keep those limits in place because it is about the safety of our people. A federal appeals court has upheld an injunction against President Obama's executive action on immigration. The ruling continues to block a program that would keep parents of children born in the U.S. from being deported. Carson questions, Jeb in jeopardy, Rubio rising. Just a few of the things on the minds of Republicans as they gather tonight for their fourth debate. Big changes keep coming at the University of Missouri after football players helped force out the president and now the chancellor. Mizzou has also announced new diversity initiatives. There's been a lot of racial tensions and I'm glad that something has finally been done. SeaWorld plans to help phase out of killer whale shows at its San Diego park by the end of next year. There's a new feline on the block, a cat so wolf-like that it's being called a werewolf cat or were-kitty. The cats get their distinct look from a natural mutation. And a painting by Amadeo Modigliani has sold for $170.4 million at Christie's. It's the second most ever paid for an artwork at auction. That's the news you need to know. Consider yourself briefed.